in my opinion, the most innovative and influential grappler that a lot of people haven't heard of is Tony D'Souza. Now, Tony D'Souza grew up wrestling, competed at Cal State Bakersfield, made the Pac-10 championships and the NC2As at points before discovering jiu-jitsu. Competing on the local scene here in California and Vegas, uh, if you watched the Matt Byrne video, you saw the match against Homer Moore where he gave up at least 50 pounds on that. And also down in Brazil, also had a stint in MMA, including a run in the UFC. Now, Tony D'Souza, as nice as a guy he was off of the mat, had some of the meanest moves you've ever seen on the mat. Uh, he once said that he used his wrestling as a way of not really winning and losing, but seeing how much damage he can inflict on people as he was going through. And this was back in his collegiate wrestling days. Uh, so he almost had like a catch wrestling flavor to his jiu-jitsu, although he would still include chokes and things like that. And certainly, Although like an experienced grappler, tend to catch a lot of experienced jiu-jitsu folks off guard with a seemingly unorthodox style. Now, a lot of you might not realize that the name Peruvian Necktie is awarded to Tony D'Souza because he may or may not have been the one that invented it, but he's certainly the one that innovated it, he's certainly the one that used it a lot, and he certainly showed that to many people. We actually had a DVD uh, instructional video out called Cholitsu, which is a whole bunch of Tony D'Souza's innovative moves. Uh, not just the Peruvian necktie, which is the most well-known off of that. He had the monk guard, he had a few cranks, and, uh, and, and even some spine locks on that video. Some stuff that you can never see in an IBJJF certified tournament. Uh, but if you get all rules going on right now, it's some of the best stuff that I've seen. Uh, but we'll honor him by the Peruvian necktie. Like you might have heard that name Peruvian necktie, I'm sure you have. Uh, it got christened in the same way, similar to the Dars choke, that when it got around the Vegas circles, you know, Mark Lehman's crew and whatnot, when it got around to Joe Rogan, when Joe Rogan called it the Peruvian necktie in the UFC, officially the name stuck. Um, so, you know, it's funny, that video that Tony D'Souza had was Cholitsu, which apparently Cholo or the, is a very derogatory term in Peru. Like, you know, they used it for a lower class person, but Tony being the type of guy he di is, you know, called it Cholitsu, combination of Cholo and Jiu Jitsu, as a source of pride, that he wasn't gonna be one of those guys that was put down. Uh, and we might have forgotten about the Cholitsu part about that, but we're certainly honoring not only Tony D'Souza, but his Peruvian heritage by calling it the Peruvian necktie. Anyway, enjoy this clip from the Cholitsu DVD, where you see the man himself explaining the Peruvian necktie. Hi, my name is Tony D'Souza. Been doing Jiu Jitsu for about five, six years. Uh, training wrestling since I was 13. High school wrestling champ. Wrestled in uh, college, Pac 10 champ. Went to the NCAAs three times. Uh, just involved with the sport since I was I, for like 17 years. All these techniques that have been taught here, um, they take time to develop, they take time to get the, um, to get the touch, because it's, it's all about a touch, it's all about putting your, putting your, your bone exactly where it's at, putting your body exactly, uh, it's a feel, you know, it's, um, you know, it's just, angles, 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 and you just got to develop those angles. It's through practice that you develop those, those angles. This is not one thing you could uh, come in here, learn an arm bar, learn a triangle, or learn the monk guard and, you know, and, uh, and just do it. It's, it's, it takes time, and, and with time, you, you, get, you get better and better at uh, at doing the positions and techniques and knowing exactly the angles to uh, go for one thing or the other. I would like to thank you for uh, buying the DVD. Um, I like to thank uh, On the Mat for getting it out there. Uh, I like to thank uh, Andre Pedernadas. Uh, I like to uh, quiero hablar con todas esas personas peruanas también ahí que 
eh, templo Cholitsu, ¿no? este, que en realidad me ayudan, a, me ayudan diariamente a, a, a ser una mejor persona, ¿no? a, 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 I uh, the first time I watched this was uh, was the Schultz brothers in, in 1984. Uh, they're Olympic wrestlers, both both champions, and uh, they they didn't allow them to do this move. They even though they had an arm and a head, uh, they didn't allow them to have it more than two three seconds because they were choking people out. Um, so again, I, I'll be right here. Okay, say, say I can't get the choke. The guy's got a really strong neck or whatever. I just go right behind them. So again, I do that while he's on his knees. Um, I get him down to his knees with my hips. Everything, every type of takedown every type of strength pulling in or pushing out it's going to be with my hips i never do it with uh with my back with with anything else but my hips bringing them bringing them down with my hips as you can see i'm here i'm here how how i want to bring them down my hips i got the arm right here i'll pull it out so my head will go inside. My shoulder is right, right on, right between his uh, his uh, what do you call those uh, uh, shoulder blades. Shoulder blades. My shoulder is right between his shoulder blades. I got my whole. I'm putting my whole weight right on top of them. I really don't want to be on my knees. I want to be off my knees. I pull this out. Now I'm either going to go for a choke right here or what I can do, grab the hip, go around. I'm here. I'll either choke right here or grab the hip. Now, if you're not too flexible with uh, with your arm, you could grab the leg. Take it forward. There's uh, there's plenty of moves I can set up from the front headlock. You know, I, I always start from here. Oh, bring them down, okay. From here, um, the guys, the guys really not letting me, uh, not letting me go around them or anything like that. He's, he's got his arms out exactly. Okay. What I, uh, what I do here is I'll give him one of my legs. I'll give him one of my legs. So exactly. I'll give him one of my legs. A lot of the people get excited about, about me giving them one of my legs. Exactly, they'll start pushing forward. As they start pushing forward, I bring this leg up towards his back. And now all I'm doing is I'm straightening out my leg. 